Hello everyone, Odd One Gaming here and this is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today I'm going to show you the first team I ever built as a Poison Explosion team. I never had the opportunity to build this for anybody else. I never had these champions on my account and I finally got the opportunity because of a takeover that I did for somebody. So big saw so siege. Thank you very much for giving me access to your account. It just, you know, it's just at a time with all the free stuff and all that. But uh, basically what, what we had here is we had, uh, we had another account where somebody had lots and lots of, you know, champions, lots of champions. Look at this, like it's stacked it's stacked guys we have a lot of options and i was trying to be efficient and build him something for dungeons as soon as possible and then i saw that most of his champions like tomb lord badel were maxed at the same time xavia like as in six star i said okay let me try and have a look how this one actually goes and let me try and build it after a little bit of tweaking and testing some stuff and getting some masteries we might finally managed to build it so how does this team actually work this team relies on basic uh, on obviously having poisons being placed on the champions and then having somebody to explode those poisons there's only two champions that do aoe explosion in this game and that's xavia and eleanor L. if i'm not mistaken those are the only two ones that do it as aoe i know there's karam that does it single target and i don't know who <clears throat> there might be somebody else that i'm missing but these are the main ones that are used so the the principle of this team is having people like i said put poisons and then xavier comes and explodes it the tricky thing that you have to bear in mind is affinity so if you're facing spirit affinity xavier can weak hit on her explosion and she will not kill the wave but let's run it first so you see how this team actually works let me move myself to the side a bit maybe make myself a bit smaller so as you see it was poisons poisons he had an extra turn, more poisons. Then he does a hit because you need to do a little bit of damage in there. And then the poison explosion happens. Boom, wave one down. Then we get to the second wave. Reset, again, poisons, poisons, poisons. Another smack to do damage and boom, explosion. This team is really, really nice and works amazing. I think the same team would actually work on, uh, on, on Ice Golem as well especially for the waves and then the the whole idea is like the way that you try to do with this type of team is you don't care about having them really tanky like someone like xavier or whatever you just want them to do their poison part that do the ex explosion then you want them to die and you want to have somebody like either battle kazar or like tomb lord survive and then they can solo with their with their poisons they can just solo the boss part but this one looks like it still goes well we still have poisons we still explode them so we're still doing good see it's already stacked we have so many poisons in here this is this is, makes it extremely extremely easy uh because it's the first time that i've i've done it myself like i said i'm not 100 percent sure this works without kaima uh it might actually work but you might need to have higher speeds so that your champions go twice but look at this this is 121 with uh with me stopping it but if it's like full auto it's it should be like somewhere around one minute uh after this one finish obviously i'm gonna show you the build i'm gonna show you the preset and show you the masteries on everybody to see how something like this actually works so this is another option in case you don't have a in case you don't have a seer this is what you can use if you have the poison champions it doesn't have to be specifically calvalax or specifically uh battle kazar or uh tomb lord there's there's other options there's rich stuff the ball that does aoe uh poisons there's taurus that does aoe poisons and places them so you have several options it's just obviously this team is predicated on having a uh, poison explorer like xavier or eleanor L. depends though on uh i think if i'm not mistaken xavier does 20 percent more damage on the explosion compared to Eleanor L, but I think it can work with uh, with Eleanor L as well. Just you need to have you know, you need to have the right stats. You need to have the right damage because you might need to do a little bit of damage, extra. Like I'll give an example. This team before getting uh, before getting Calvalax to go to go before uh, Xavier to do a little bit of damage. It wasn't uh, Xavier wasn't one shotting the wave. So because you're not one shotting the wave, that's not reliable because the reset happens too fast. So let me show you the preset on how this team actually works, guys. So, Battle Kazar, nothing changed. Tomb Lord forced him to do the 
poison on the first wave, force him to the poison on the second wave, and on the third wave again poisons. You want poisons in there for days. Honestly, on the on the third wave, I could even force him to do this one. I could even make him start maybe with a decrease attack, so we have a little bit of survivability. But at the same time, you don't want that because you want your team to die. So you only have one person doing damage at the end, because the more people you have, the more animations, which means the slower is gonna go. Xavia forced her to do the explosion. See, I didn't even have this one booked. He has no books and this champion still works. Not even fully ascended. Look at this speed. 126 speed and I put accuracy. I'm not even sure she needs accuracy to explode them, but I just put accuracy. Like I said, I've never built it, but it's so easy to build her, you don't have to stress about it. I've even done 80% crit rate and a bit of crit damage to do a little bit of damage because I run Badal in the lead. I only need 75. So, f first one, Deadly Catalyst, which is the explosion. Second one, same thing. Third one, whatever. Kaimar, you want to open with the A2. You don't want him to start with the reset because he's the fastest in the team, as you see. He's the fastest, so he opens with the A2 or A1. And then he does the reset. And then when you get to the boss part, again, the reset. Calvalax, I made him do the AoE, which does more damage because of poisons. It's full of poison, so as you saw, he did a little bit of damage. Same thing on the second wave, and on the third wave, I just stopped the second skill because this one does a lot of animations and just slows it down, honestly. So that's that's not something that that you would want. Uh, so this this is the this is the rotation. Let's 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 just uh, let me quickly try and see does this team would work on Golem? Oh wait, he's he's not that advanced. Never mind. Let's let's check the build guide. Let's check the builds on these champions. So if we look at, uh, if you saw something here, is uh, basically our gear is not the craziest. I mean, look at this. Look at the stats on the Tomb Lord. Let me move myself the other way. These are Tomb Lord stats. Just 100% crit rate, just the accuracy and ra some random speed in whatever pieces. He's booked. And he has the masteries of doing a little bit of damage with the the... Giant Slayer, and obviously you, you you want to get on your Poison Master Hexer. That chance to extend one of those poisons can help you a lot, because because in case one of them gets resisted, you might not one-shot the wave. But if you have Master Hexer on everybody, so on whoever your poisons are, Tomb Lord, Beck, Kelvalax, Richtof, Taurus, whatever, you want to have that, that the chance to extend uh, one of the poisons, because it explodes depending on the ticks. So the more ticks the poison have, the more damage the explosion does. Keep that in mind. Then Battle Kazar, I tried to build him a little bit tanky with in Relentless. 180 speed, 262, nothing else, just try to get him survivable. So basically Relentless, to come back to his uh, poisons and healing in case everybody else die, I try to have him solo it. These are his masteries with War Master, Lifesteal, and you want the Arcane Celerity and Rapid Response because he does lots of buffs and debuffs. And at the same time, I wanted Master Hexer, but I didn't go for lasting gifts because I went for Spirit Haste in case, in case we're going to build a solo build <clears throat> at one point with him. Getting more speed helps him a lot because he comes back to his poisons again and to his heal so he can survive doing solo comps. Then Kaimar has the standard arena build. Kaimar, you can use in... You can use him in arena build. This is the build that I thought I would use for arena. I've never built a Kaimar. I don't have a Kaimar. He's my most wanted, but this is how I would build, I think, him. Thinking at his kid, this is how I would go. Maybe I would go to Cycle of Magic instead of Spirit Ice, or instead of a lot of steel or something like that. But anyway, uh, okay, let me go back. Why did I go out? Let me show you his build. Time out, I tried, I tried to get in speed tune for Rina, but again, look at this. He's not even maxed. You only care about one thing for him. You want this reset to happen on the second wave before everybody else goes. You want him the fastest. And build random stuff. Speed and accuracy to land his, if you want to land his leap or poisons. For the poison, he needs to crit as well in order to land them. Keep that in mind. You're not relying on him for the poisons, you're just using him for the reset. Uh, use Xavier, show Kelvalax, same thing. Kelvalax, basically, you don't care here that much. You care about his accuracy. And you care about him going either before or after Xavier, but you care... <clears throat> You care for him to go before the wave goes, which is like over 1, 110 speed and do a little bit of damage. Like you see, I got 82, 189 and barely any attack. The gear was extremely lacking on this account, so we did what we could. He's not even booked. Just put him to use this one to do some damage in there so we make sure they die. And then I use this one again, same thing, Master Hexer to extend poisons and War Master for more damage on the... <coughs> 
sorry guys more damage on the waves or even on like at the boss part if if we need it but as you see guys it's it's not crazy it's not crazy it's pretty easy it's pretty easy honestly and i think the, the only thing that we need to keep in mind here like i said you need to have either you have a kaimar or you need to have Xavia be over 200 speed and everybody close to over 200 speed so Xavia goes twice because if she doesn't go twice on the second wave with a renegade for reset you will not come back to to this skill because it's on a fourth cooldown if she goes if she uh goes after renegade there's still that one third cooldown if i'm not mistaken that she would not come back to so keep that in mind if you want to try it obviously you're going to test it out but try it and get everybody over 200 speed so you lap the wave if so if some other people are slower it's not going to work because it depends on the tech so if you just have her like 230 and your renegade whatever everybody else you might have the wave go before she gets to have another third if you have everybody else slow like i showed them here 155 and whatever so this was it for my guide on the on the poison explosion team this is something that i tried uh if i'm gonna I, I might tweak with it some more i might try something else i might try and tweak it and try to try and just for showcase and i might release that video later but till uh this is it for now like i said you have several options for the poisoners for people that are AOE poison but as exploders you don't have that many but i hope this guide was is useful to you guys uh, if I'm gonna get a Xavier or LNRL on my account one day, I'm gonna try it because I have Calva Lax to blow them back myself. But till then, I'm just gonna continue going with my Seer comp. Anyway, I've blambled enough. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Love you, everyone. Goodbye.